Hello Girl Scouts. My name is Jennifer Lester and I'm the Development Director for Girl Scouts of Central Texas and I'm happy to welcome you to my garden today for Trefoil TV. I have been working on a project that I started this winter to propagate my fig trees. I like to propagate my trees and grow other trees off of these so that I can give them to my family and friends because they make great gifts and I want everybody to enjoy the yummy figs that we get during the summer. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's something that's quite easy to do and it works really well if you have butterfly bushes in your yard or if you have willow trees. They propagate really easily and you could use this same technique to grow additional trees. So the first thing that you need to do is find a branch on your tree and you can see these are my fig trees here. These are two miniature brown turkey fig trees. So the figs we get off of them are about this big and we will get baskets and baskets and baskets of them come this summer. The leaves that these fig trees grow get to be about this big. They're quite large and they're very pretty. They end up covered in daddy long leg spiders all summer. So it's kind of fun to come out here and, and take a look at them. In order to get a good branch to propagate, you need to find a branch that doesn't have any leaves growing on it. So the best time to really do this is in the spring before the leaves start growing. You can tell my, my tree is starting to get leaves because it's been so warm. So I'm going to cut a branch off right here. I'm using my pruning shears. Girls, you'll have your parents help you with this because your pruning shears tend to be kind of sharp. I am going to cut a branch off and then I'm going to take the end and I'm going to cut the end at an angle. So I'm gonna do just like that so you can see it's kind of at an angle. This will be a perfect size. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna keep your branch from getting any bacteria or fungus on it. And a natural antibacterial is cinnamon. So I like to dip the bottom of my, my tree branches in cinnamon to help them grow stronger. So I'm gonna dump a little bit in my hand and then I just pat it all the way around the bottom of the branch. So pretty easy to do. You can see I've got it coated. The next thing I do is take just a plain paper towel. You could use a napkin also, but I always use a paper towel and I'm gonna get it wet. So I'm just gonna get it a little wet. There we go. Squeeze that out. And then I wrap the bottom of the, the branch in the paper towel and I put it in a Ziploc bag and seal it up. This is creating kind of a little miniature greenhouse effect. Then you take this bag and you set it in a sunny spot where it's gonna get some nice sunlight and be nice and warm. And what it does is it acts like a greenhouse and it gets the branches or it gets roots to start growing off the bottom of the, the branch. Now I'm gonna show you some that I have already started that are ready to be planted. These are gonna grow into great little fig trees this summer. So as you can see, we've got some, we've got the roots growing off of them. This one has a little bit of paper towel stuck in it. This one is growing some leaves at the top as well. So these are definitely ready to plant. So I just take a pot and I've got some potting soil right here. So I'm just gonna put, fill my pot about three fourths of the way full with potting soil. This is just normal potting soil. There's nothing, nothing special about it. Here we go. We've got that about right. I'll put this back down here. And then I just take my finger, because I like to get my fingers, I like to get my hands in the dirt, and I poke a hole to put the tree in. So I'm gonna plant this one first. I push it down so it's so it's got plenty of dirt and then I pack the dirt in around it to help hold it up. And let's see, I think I'll add this one to it as well. I plant two branches per pot because I think having two fig trees is the perfect number. I'm gonna put that in there and pack it down. And then I'm just going to water it a little bit. I, you can put this in a nice sunny spot and by the end of the summer, you'll probably have a fig tree that's about this tall. Last year they grew really fast, and at the end of the summer I had a friend who was even getting figs off of it and it wasn't even a year old. So this is what I like to do, and I hope you'll give it a try as well. If you don't have a fig tree or you don't have a butterfly bush or something that you could, you could try like that, another thing I like to do is if you have any succulents like this one here, 
if you knock any of the branches off or pieces of it fall off, don't throw them away. You can put them in a pot and just set them up and you'll, you'll get some little succulents that grow off of the ends of them and you'll have a whole new plant. That's also propagating plants and it's an easy thing to do. So I hope you enjoyed Trefoil TV today and I hope you get outside and get to enjoy the sunshine. It's been beautiful out lately and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.